Today, four exercises using a BOSU ball, which is going to help with your core, but we're going to focus on chest today with fly, bench, close grip, and push-ups. First one is flies. After you lower yourself onto the BOSU ball while bringing the dumbbells to your chest, naturally you should create a straight bridge from your knees to your shoulders. Extend the dumbbells upwards so that they are directly above your chest without locking your arms while keeping your hands internally rotated. Lower the dumbbells away from each other like you see here, opening your chest while creating tension. Be sure not to lower the dumbbells past your shoulder line. Bring the dumbbells back inwards to meet in the central starting position like hugging a barrel. Next up, while in this position, just extend the dumbbells upward. We're going to be doing chest press. Without locking your arms, place your hands in a horizontal position. Lower the dumbbells toward your chest, imitating a slow falling motion until they reach your nipple line. And then contract your chest to drive the dumbbells back upward to the starting position. Basically, we're doing chest here like a bench press. Primary muscles, chest, triceps, and then of course, with our abs with our core. Next is a close grip dumbbell press, also known as the crush press. This is a variation of the dumbbell bench press like I just showed you and an exercise used to build the muscles of the chest and triceps. This is pretty effective in activating the chest as you'll squeeze your pecs while pressing the dumbbells together the entire time. This crush press incorporates the triceps more so than other bench press variations. So I like this one in cooperation with the fly and bench. And then finally, I finish with just your basic push-ups with the rubber side down. Carefully place a hand on each side. Take the push-up position by ensuring your elbows are slightly bent with your core tight and your hips are level. Bend at the elbows first, slowly lowering your body toward the BOSU ball, keeping your core tight, which is important, during the entire exercise. Once your upper arms are parallel with the floor, just push yourself back up to the starting position. Make sure not to completely straighten your elbows if you can, and then repeat this process. My goal with this workout is three to four sets, 10 to 15 reps. If you'd like me to send you a new strength and conditioning workout every day for the next 30 days via video text message, then please consider joining my 3030 Accountability Club. You'll find all the details in the link below this video or by visiting endurancehour.com slash 3030 club. My club members love these workouts. They're feeling better, they're looking better, and they're having fun. Check it out. Until next time, have a great day and make it count.